to the Coastal Craft Film channel. Today we are going to be unboxing this Fitbit Versa 4. And I have opened it partially. It comes with a quick start guide. So it says here, download the Fitbit app, charge to 100%, sync the app. And that's basically it. So it comes with a charger. So, which is very different. So, I have here a Fitbit Versa 2. They look very identical, but this is a little bit of an upgrade. So as you can see, the charging port is different. So this won't charge a Versa 2. So let's open this. Okay, here is the watch itself. As you can see, compared to a Versa 2, it has a thicker band and the way to attach the band is a little bit different. As you can see, this one has like a pin in here and this one, I think it's magnetic. And so it's very slick. Very sleek. So there's some instructions. So it came with an extra, extra um, band. I think this is the longer band, but I think I'm gonna fit the small one just fine. So let's get, let's charge this item, and I'll show you how to set it up. So you have to provide your own charger. Very really quickly, this is my charger for the Fitbit Versa Two. You can see the back is a little bit different. It goes right into the spin. Like that. And now we're gonna I'm gonna show you how to charge the Versa 4. So this is find the right spot. There you go. It's charging. It kind of vibrates when you charge it, which is nice. So you know it's connected. What I did is I pressed this button and it gave me this option. So press the button. Oops. So quick English, get started. Download the Fitbit app. This is only 1%, so I would have to charge it to connect it to my Fitbit app. So let's get it charged, and I'll get back with you later. So to start with the setup, you have to download the Fitbit app. I already have it on my phone because I have previously a Versa 2. And make sure to turn on your location and your Bluetooth for setting up. As you can see here, I still have my Versa 2 connected. Uh, it's going to ask you what are you setting up if you add a device. So I'm going to open that page up and scroll down. And as you can see, the very bottom shows Versa 4. If you click that, it says this will disconnect your Versa 2 from your account. So you just have to um, click OK for that. And if you want um, your Versa to be running to, uh, to your phone as well, you need to open up a different Google account or use a different Google account to attach the Versa, the Versa 2. So it says here, connect Versa 4 to the Fitbit app, and it's going to have some information there. Just scroll down and click OK. It's going to give you an instruction on how to charge the Versa 4. Connect the back of your Versa 4 to the magnetic charging cable until it snaps in place. It asked me to turn on my location, which I did, and now it found my Versa 4. Now it's going to show a pairing code on your Versa 4 watch. Enter the four digits in your device's display. So that's what I did. Um, wait for a little bit. It's going to take a little while for it to locate or sync your phone with a watch. So just wait for like three to four minutes. Okay, now so it's showing Bluetooth pairing and linking. To improve your Fitbit experience, you will need to Bluetooth pair and link your tracker which I did earlier, I already turned my Bluetooth, so that's why I told you beforehand to turn on your Bluetooth. Update your Versa 4, so just click OK on that one. 
this process the downloading and installing is take a uh, took a little bit of time so it probably took like seven to ten minutes so i'll just speed up this process there's some um, information here shown like the google wallet advanced fitness and activity tools for the so heart. after connecting amazon alexa to your device it's gonna show you a series of instruction just scroll keep on scrolling get from reminders access smart devices stay stay up to date so here are some sample prompts that you can ask alexa like setting a timer asking for the weather all you have to do is just long press the button on the side of the watch there's also an option for an on wrist calls but i'm not going to use that because it's going to drain the battery so i'm mainly just going to use this for like um gps and um a tracker mainly so this is an afib um additional feature about like your heart rate and stuff but i'm just scrolling it down so you can see what it looks like so that is our setup for today how hope this video helps and see you in the next one